All right, guys, today we're going to be testing out three water bottles slash tumblers. And um, I love the Yetis. Uh, I have Yetis of a few sizes. Really love them. They're a vacuum insulated, uh, they call them the Ramblers. This one's their 20 ounce. Here we have a Camelback Podium Chill. This is a water bottle with a very thin layer of foam insulation. So it's supposed to you know, be better than no insulation. Pretty good water bottle. I use that on my bike. And then I bought this. It also will fit on my bike. Bought this as a present for my mom actually. But I wanted to go ahead and test it out first. Just make this little video. And this is the Camelback Eddy. And it's also a vacuum sealed container. And it says here it keeps cold for 24 hours. I don't know about that. Um, but we're going to test these out. And what we're going to do here take off all our tops. This one comes with a straw in there. And we are going to throw five pieces of ice into each one. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to add, let's do a cup and a half of water uh, in each one of these. And I'm just going to use my sink water, which I let run for a minute before this, so it comes out at an even temperature for all three. So my sink water is just the cold water out of my sink. And we'll go ahead and fill these up, and I'll show just so we know they're about equal here. Don't have to be 100% precise, but here we have, looks like we're slightly under a cup and a half. I'll just add in a tiny bit more. And there we are at a cup and a half there. Go ahead and put that in our first one. Hopefully it's not too much water. Nope, perfect. Get a cup and a half in the next one. And there we are, right about a cup and a half. And a cup and a half in the last one. There we go. And now we are just going to throw these lids on, keep them insulated. And I'm actually going to take these outside and let them sit outside to expedite this test. Because inside, you know, I got my house set at like 72 for, the, for during the day right now. Outside, it's like 85 degrees today. So I'm going to take these and throw them outside. It is currently. 118 so we will test uh, what time uh, we'll test in about half an hour or maybe yeah about a half an hour so let's say it's about 120 we'll, we'll go test these at like 150 in a half an hour and see how much ice has melted in each one I expect the Yeti and the Camelback to do very similar they're both vacuum insulated uh, water bottles and then the podium chill here, I've never tested. It's just got a foam, foam liner, kind of. We'll see how that compares. So let me go ahead and put these out in the heat. Uh, I'm going to leave them all right next to each other. And I'll put them in the shade, just so one of them doesn't, you know, attract more sunlight than others, because they are different colors, like this one. These two are similar. But I'll put them in the shade outside, and we'll be back in a half an hour. All right, guys, it's been a half hour. Well, one minute until a half hour. And we're going to be looking at these and seeing how much ice is left. Now, do remember <coughs> that we started with tap water, warm water. In fact, I still have the ice sitting in the original cup. And this was just leftover ice. There happened to be four pieces in here, one less than we put into um, the water there. And it's still pretty full. There's actually less ice in each of these. And the reason being, we filled these with a lot of water that was like 70 degrees. So that ice had to cool down that water and then keep at the same temperature. So if you start off with cold water, you want to start off with more ice, of course, if you're going to be going out. But that's the reason why it melted, because even inside here, just sitting the ice didn't melt all that much. And that's because it didn't have any water that it had to cool down. So let's go through each one. Here we have the podium chill. We're going to pour it through the strainer. It's okay, I'll make a little bit of a mess here, no big deal wipe it up when I'm done. 
and it had zero ice actually left. Nothing in here. So the podium chill, zero ice left. Let's see if the other two have ice and let's see which one has more or about the same. Again, you fill this with cold water or you put more ice in and it's going to keep it longer. It's just the reason why the <coughs> ice melted fast is because we put a lot of water to a little bit of ice. So that ice had to initially cool down the water that we put in there. So once it's cool, it should keep it cool longer. But this expedited our test, which was good. That's what we want to see is which one does better. So here I could see some ice. We're going to have to decide which one has more. Oh, I'm spilling a lot, but that's alright. I'll just grab a towel after this video. Alright, and here is what we have. I can see five pieces. One, two, three, four, and then this little guy here is five. So these are going to probably just melt. They dropped them on the floor. We saw them on camera. We saw how much that was. Let's take a look at the Yeti now. And it looks very similar to the other one. Let's see if we can get these all kind of together. This one I'm only seeing four. So we're actually missing one ice cube more. But it's very similar in size to the other ones. Here's some of the other ice cubes from the last one. You can see it's very similar to the Yeti. So overall, bottles like this, they do work great. Of course you'd use more than five ice cubes, you'd probably fill them up with ice and then put water in and they're going to last pretty long. But if you want a water bottle that really lasts a long time, these vacuum insulated bottles are just awesome. Now I know there wasn't much ice left. Again, that's because we put ice into water that was room temperature and that's why the ice melted so fast because it was in that water. So if you start off with cold water, maybe you got a water bottle in the fridge or you put in more ice so there's more ice to work with, it will last longer. As we saw, it definitely beat a standard insulated water bottle and it would have kept going a lot longer than a standard insulated water bottle. Uh, just with a little more ice in there it would have lasted probably hours and hours and hours. These things are really great. I've used uh, the Yetis for months and months now, maybe over a half a year. I really love them. And it looks like this uh, Camelback Eddy did just as good. And it's less expensive too, just a little bit. Um, I think this was 30, this was 35, so I mean it's not a huge difference, but it was slightly less expensive. Really cool water bottles, they really work great. We showed you here in the expedited test that they kept it better than a normal tumbler. So, have any questions let me know. That is the Camelback Eddy and the Yeti 20 ounce Rambler, both really awesome. And in case you wanted uh, something more uh, like this one with a straw, the 20 ounce Yeti comes with a sip lid, but you can also get it with a hard plastic straw lid and have kind of a water bottle like that. So both very versatile and cool items. Again, have any questions, let me know. We'll see you all later.